Hello again, everyone. So uh, in this short video, uh, I am uh, trying to uh, explain how to build your own uh, or create your own uh, snippet in, in uh, VS Code. Uh, so it's it's uh, I think it's uh, simple and easy to create your own uh, snippets inside VS Code. So if we jumped into um, I already have this uh, project, which is uh, just a Laravel uh, project. So if we jumped into one of our controllers, uh, let's jump into this uh, logic controller. So as you can see, we have uh, this basic, uh, basically we, we create a class and that class extended from a controller class and also we have these uh, public methods, uh, which is the construct. And if you want to create another method, you basically can type public function and then the name of your method. And then you create your function and then you'll return maybe something. For example, uh, let's say, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so you, you are returning a name. And this function so every time you need to create a function or a method you basically need to repeat the process and create public function name and otherwise uh maybe you 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 want to create a snippet uh uh like uh, you know if you type p m e for example and hit tab that will generate a code or a block of code that uh contains the basic syntax for that uh for that uh public function for example for example so in vs code uh if we jumped into let's jump into snippets so as you can see we have uh these uh preferences for uh snippets so if we type on this option uh you will see that we have multiple options for all uh, languages. So we have PHP, we have JavaScript, we have uh, C Sharp, we have Python, uh, and all the languages uh, is contained inside this. Uh, so you can create your own snippet for any language you want. So in our case, we are just in interested in uh, PHP. So uh, if we open the PHP snippets uh, file, which is a JSON file, uh, you can see that uh, we have this basic example. So let's uh, comment out this example. And basically you can, uh, first you need to name uh, that snippet. In our case, I will call it public uh, snippet or public method, public method, okay? For the prefix, in our case, I'll call this PME for public method. Uh, for the body, let's clear this out. It's uh, like an array, as you can see, we have the body and we have an array for the uh, body of this snippet. So uh, in our case, we will create this public uh, function and then the name after we have these uh, open curly brace. And for the second element of this array, uh, we need the uh, body of that uh, function. So in our case, we are return uh, a name. So in this case, let's say yes, sir. Okay. And for the third element, it's uh, basically we need to close uh, the close the the function body, as you can see. Okay. So this is as you can see, it's basic uh, snippet. Uh, we also need to uh, add a description. So uh, generating a public method, okay? So now if I save and uh, get back into our, uh, our file and let's type uh, PME and hit tab. And as you can see, that will create a, a snippet for you. So it's basically the, this, this snippet uh, we already created inside our PHP uh, file. 
So uh, basically, as you can see, it's simple and easy to create a snippet. But in normal ways, you don't want to uh, display this uh, just a plain text. We need to create our, uh, our own name or our uh, own variable. So instead of displaying this name as a plain text, we can basically add a variable. So just a dollar sign and then the number of that uh, variable, which is the first, the first one. And also in this, uh, for the body of this uh, function or this method, I will add another variable, as you can see. So if we save, if we get back and let's clear this out and uh, let's uh, type P M E and tab. As you can see, we have this uh, cursor here, so you can create your own um, name. You can name your own function as you want. And also we have this uh, second parameter for the body of this uh, of this method. Uh, in this case, you can you can type anything, uh, any functionality you want from that uh, method, as you can see, okay? So uh, basically, it's uh, quite simple. Uh, also, we can add uh, a space before that uh, return. So if we jump into here, uh, basically, we can add this forward slash and T. And if we save, get back, let's clear this, PME tab, and that uh, will create our snippet. And here we can uh, return something okay as you can see so uh, it will automatically add this uh, space before this uh, before the body of this uh, function so uh, also there's uh, some other options if we jumped into the uh, the documentation inside VS code in the documentation, as you can see, we have this uh, documentation for uh, for snippets. Uh, I will include the the link in the description. Uh, so basically, it's explaining quite uh, all the options and all the uh, uh, the process of creating your own snippets. So uh, we also can use these variables or these um, uh, variables uh, actually. It's, uh, uh, for example, you can uh, type the file name. This variable will give you the file name uh, of this uh, snippet. So, uh, in, for example, if we uh, put or insert the variable variable name uh, here, for example, uh, instead of this one. So let's try this file name variable uh, instead of uh, just typing. Uh, you know, if we if we want to just instead of uh, putting this uh, one variable, uh, let's add a file name and let's save. Let's get back here and let's uh, clear this out and type p m e and tab. And as you can see, that will uh, generate a file name of, of your. Uh, of your file, basically, is the the file name you are working or you are creating the uh, the snippet inside. So, basically, for the file name, I think you can uh, use that for creating classes. So, as you can see, we when we create a class, you can add the file name here, variable uh, of the file name uh, that will generate the class depending on the file name. Uh, of your of your file basically so uh, a lot of options uh, of course so if you get back we have uh, the directory of the uh, the current document uh, we have the file path we have uh, the clipboard the content you can use the year the year short the short uh, syntax for year you can use month month name uh, a lot of options as you can see so you can play around with this uh, with these options uh, and as you can see you can of course it's simple to create uh, your own uh, your own snippets in vs code and also for, um, as with the same way you can use 
use that for not for for PHP, of course, you can use that uh, for JavaScript. So if we jump into the snippets and let's go to the JavaScript file. So as you can see, we have uh, we have the same syntax. So basically, we are creating a, a, a snippet name, and then we add the prefix, prefix then the body of this uh, of this snippet, and then the description of that uh, that snippets. So I think that's it for this short video. Uh, I hope the, that uh, video, this video, is helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you. I'll see you later.